Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison, and I hope you're doing so so well today. Today, you guys, we are going to be recreating vegan versions of Arby's. Yes, ma'am. Yum. <laughs> Arby's is actually one of the most requested fast food places I get asked to recreate. Isn't that weird? So we're gonna do that today. And also my friend Brandy, who always comments on my videos, hey queen, how you doing? She sent me a Instagram message and she told me about how she recreated vegan versions of Arby sandwiches and it sounded so good. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm really excited, you guys. I've got this hot plate heating up. Is that what these are called? Hot plates? Griddle, griddle, that's what they're called. Heating up and um, I'm not excited about this because this is gonna be really hot in my face. I'm gonna start sweating and also my AC is on I know I always always apologize about my AC you guys um, but it's freaking hot and my AC is like the loudest AC in Texas calm it down girl you so extra anyways also can you hear me okay I put my lapel mic right here because um, I didn't know where to put it it's actually like dual purpose because it's holding my dress together this is like a like go out and dance dress so it's a little it's a little risque you know what I'm saying so I have to close it up a little bit so Anyways, what am I talking about? Let's get started cooking. Okay, so um, let's see. The first thing that we're going to do today is warm up some buns, you guys. Arby's, uh, Arby's has like sesame buns. I think they have brioche buns and um, the the onion buns that they use. I was like looking at the pictures of their sandwiches. Um, you guys, I was looking for those, and then I came across these Sarah Lee artisano buns I love this bread and it's vegan you guys they have um, like loaf bread sliced bread in this same kind it's my favorite it's so good it's so good it's so good um, I always have to like triple check the ingredients because I'm always like <laughs> they're gonna sneak something in there that I didn't see already okay so let's butter some buns huh all right so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna put some butter on our griddle my tub of earth balance i love you earth balance you're the best finger butter there ever was okay and um yeah let's get these buns going my anaconda don't want none unless you is this better who knows you know i don't know how to do all of these fancy settings on my camera yet i probably will never oh my god this bread smells so good but it's so weird how like the light goes in and out. I don't know, I'm just a girl. Ugh. Okay. Oh, you guys, check this out. So I got this to drink today. I went to the gas station to get some cash back and I needed to buy something. And I saw this, this is triple berry Ozarka sparkling water. So we're gonna try it today. So there will be burping in this video. So be sure to tell me in the comments about how much you hate it. <laughs> or how much you love it. Ooh, yum, num num nums. Ooh, me gusta, this is good. What's in here? Okay, hurry up. Why are you not cooking fast enough? This thing is taking forever, okay. All right, let me turn this up because this thing has taken too long. Hurry up, mama's hungry. Okay, since this is taking forever to heat up, I'm gonna explain what else we got going on. So, for the meat, we are gonna be using the Tofurky Deli Slices. These are actually really good, you guys, I promise. I know it sounds really weird, but they're good, okay? This is, these are what the boxes look like. So I got the hickory smoked kind, and then I got the peppered kind. I really like the peppered kind. It has the big chunks of pepper in it. I used this to make my Reuben, my uh, grilled cheese Reuben. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put it up here. That was so good. Okay, so that's the meat that we're gonna be using. In my skillet right here, I um, simmered some onion, garlic powder, and I made like a broth. I used the vegan 
beef broth. I think you can find it on Amazon. Um, I'll link it down below if I can find it. And I used um, some liquid smoke. I put a little bit of liquid smoke in there. And I want to like use that as like, like I want to put the meat in there before I put the meat on the skillet to cook it. Actually, that's what we're going to do right now. So it gets like some extra flavor in there. So I'm going to use the hickory smoked kind real quick. And I'm just going to kind of like toss it in there and let it soak up all the yummy juices from the broth. Okay. Oh, you guys, I have a feeling this is going to be so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to make two different kinds of Sammies today. We're going to make one roast beef sandwich. And then I was looking on their website and they have a, um, like a barbecue sandwich and I'm going to use the peppered, um, the peppered deli slices for those and it has like crispy onions and barbecue sauce but it had a white cheese on it that is soaking in there then okay well let me explain in here i have the cheese sauce that we're going to be putting on the sandwich look at this oh my goodness that sauce is actually the honest stand um this is their nacho dip this is the like mild flavor they also have a spicy and they also have another kind of dip that i can't think of but this is one of the best vegan cheeses i've had my second favorite or my other favorite is the follow your heart parmesan cheese um like the shreds this shit's so freaking good if you can't find this stuff you can make queso or cheese sauce out of um, potatoes and carrots which I will link down below I also made that same uh, potatoes and carrots queso in one of my nacho my nacho in one of my chip bongs which I'm gonna link right up here if you haven't seen that but I also will link the recipe down below you can make cheese sauce out of cashews you can like melt down some like daya cheese or like vegan shredded cheese with some milk and um like some paprika and spices like there are options okay now you're starting to smoke okay these are ready let's take them off and start cooking the meats yeah mm. Ooh, sizzle baby sizzle <laughs> Yes, okay, now we're gonna marinate some of the pepper because I'm gonna use that for the barbecue sandwich. So, so when you think of Arby's, like what is one of the most popular things they're known for? Uh, hello, horsey sauce. Did you guys think that I wasn't gonna make freaking horsey sauce? No, ma'am, look at this, you guys. Horsey sauce, how you make it is you put just mayo, I use just mayo, it's vegan mayo, horseradish and you can also use cream of horseradish I think but I, I think that has dairy in it so I'm not gonna use that and then you put a little bit of sugar and salt and that's it baby cakes that's all it is and it's so freaking good oh my god oh my god from what I remember about horsey sauce from Arby's is you can't really taste too much um, horseradish but I love horseradish so I'll put a shit ton in there oh yeah Ooh, this is good. Oh, <laughs> this is looking good. Oh, I'm kind of burning it. Uh-oh, mukbang probs. Okay, oh my gosh, you guys. I also made RV sauce. I think that's what it's called, right? The red sauce. This is so good. So how I made this is ketchup, onion powder, garlic powder, brown sugar, vegan Worcestershire sauce, and some water and then I in a, in a saucepan and then you just let it um okay this is getting too hot then you just let it simmer I let it mine simmer for almost 30 minutes and it reduced down into this yummy delicious sauce oh fresh cracked pepper I think I have links down below some vegan Worcestershire that you can get off Amazon mm, oh my god that sauce is lovely I'm gonna make two of the like roast beef sandwiches and then I'm gonna make um, one of the barbecue sandwiches. Now the barbecue sandwich from what I read online comes with regular mayo instead of like horsey sauce. Well, I don't think any of the sandwiches come with sauce, do they? But you know I'm a sauce queen so I need sauce all over it. But I'm gonna put horsey sauce on the barbecue sandwich because horsey sauce is delicious. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. And then we are going to just start putting this on there. Oh yes. Okay. You guys look at this. Okay. This piece is kind of burnt. We're going to put you towards the back. You're burnt. Okay. Oh, I forgot for the barbecue ones. Duh. Hello. 
you always got to put pickles on the bottom of your barbecue sandwiches okay so let me just do that real quick all right gotta get the pickles in there all right love pickles mm -mm -mm. hate cucumbers mm -mm -mm. you know what you guys i'm gonna move some things around and then we're gonna finish plating this up okay i'll be right back so let's finish assembling our sandwiches so the barbecue sandwich that I saw on the website had like some kind of white cheese and I do have like some Dea mozzarella cheese that I could have melted down and put on top of here but we're not gonna do that we're just gonna I might put some of the nacho cheese on there but it definitely did have barbecue sauce on there we're definitely gonna do that I might just leave the cheese out actually let's do that this barbecue sauce is Memphis barbecue sauce that I got at Aldi's holy Shit, this stuff is so good. This barbecue sauce, oh my god, I wish I could recreate a barbecue sauce just like that because it's so good. And then they also have like crispy onion rings on the barbecue sandwich. I was going to make onion rings, you know what? I should just do a freaking onion ring with bong. Oh, 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 mmm. That sounds good. Okay, but these are Lars' own imported crispy onions. Um, where are you from? Where are you from, onions? Let's see. Product of Holland, packed in USA, distributed by Chicago Importing Company in Illinois. <laughs> so these are from Holland, Holland onions. Okay, so we're just gonna sprinkle these bad boys right on top. And we're gonna put lots. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> okay, and then put that with you. Okay. All right, so then let's put some cheese on our, the I guess it would be called the roast beef sandwiches. Let's, oh, you are gorgeous. Okay, it's really watery. Oh, these sandwiches are gonna be so messy. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, and then next, oh yeah, just make a mess. That's okay, you're okay. You're okay, get messy. Yes, okay, yum, yum, yum. Okay, what else do they come on the roast beef sandwiches? That's it, right? Okay. <gasps> this is so, so good. Okay, yum. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, you guys, now I added some curly fries, of course, because Arby's is known for their curly fries. And um, yeah, let's dig in. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I did have to change some settings on my camera. It looks super yellowy. I, I'll fix it, I promise. I'm sorry, I'm done complaining about it, but let's eat. Oh my goodness, okay. Ooh, look at this fry. Let's dip it in some Arby's sauce. Come here, Arby's sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These are just some frozen fries. I didn't. I didn't make these, you guys. I'm not that fancy. <laughs> Let's, um, okay. All right, let me move my sauces over here on this out. A fry with the horsey sauce. Mmm. You guys, I can't freaking wait to dig into these sandwiches. <sighs> yeah, okay. All right, so let's try the roast beef first. You guys, <laughs> it looks so good. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. 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 Mm hmm. Oh my God. Wow. Dude, that's fucking good. Mmm. You guys, oh my God. Holy shit. How good is this? Wow. Okay. That cheese, the Honest Dan cheese, if you can find that stuff, you guys need to get it. It is so good. Okay, I need a mirror check. Do I have anything on my face? A little bit of lipstick on my chin. Okay, good. Mmm. Mmm. I put some Arby's sauce on it. Oh my god. 
I love these blinds. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I'm almost all the way through this first sandwich. Mm. Let's put some fries on it. Oh my goodness. Hello. You guys, look, my elbow's doing so much better from when I fell off the bike. I fell off that bike hard, you guys. I um have this like bruise on my hip bone. Mmm. My fries are so good. I have this bruise on my hip bone from when I... <laughs> I won't even let myself get through a sentence. From when I fell off the bike. It's not like on my hip bone. It's right above my hip bone. And there's a huge knot in it. In my, under my skin. I've never had that happen before. Like, have you ever gotten so bruised so badly that you have a knot from it? Isn't that weird? Mm. You guys. Wow. <laughs> this shit's so good. Okay. So I'm going to answer some more questions from my Q&A. You guys left so many questions. And I'm also going to be doing another Q&A video. So stay tuned for that. So let's get started on answering some more of y'all's questions. I was going to do like this whole long video of my Q&A, but I'm like, that will be well over an hour long. Like, oh no. No, no, no. Amanda Stoneburner asks, has your hair always been uh, this color or have you switched it up? You rock it, by the way. Very beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. So are you. <laughs> I love it when I can see your pictures in the, in the, in the, in your little, in your little picture thing. Words are hard. Okay. Um, uh, no, I haven't always had this hair color. No. <laughs> um, I have, uh, when I was a kid, I had bleach blonde hair and then I had like brown hair and then I bleached it blonde in high school and then right after high school i started bleaching it bleaching it i started dyeing it black i would go to a freaking store go to walmart or whatever and get black boxed hair dye oh my god girl no but i did for a long time like years i dyed my hair black and then I wanted to start branching out and like doing other stuff. But you can't with black hair because you have to like bleach your whole head to get all the black out. And it really damages your hair. So I kind of just let it grow out. And then, oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I want to tell you a story about my hair. So years ago, I wanted to cut my own hair. And I got drunk off shots of vodka and I said, I want bangs and short layers. And I had long hair, like as long as it is now. <laughs> Do not drink with a pair of scissors anywhere around you, okay? If you're me, at least. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened. I cut my own bangs and they actually didn't turn out that bad. I did a decent job on my bangs. If I could find a picture of what my hair looked like, I'm gonna put it somewhere right here. Um, <laughs> So I cut my own bangs and then I cut my own layers. Okay. So how I did this, because I'm not a genius, is I took the whole um, top half of my hair, like I just parted it. And then I took the, the long bits of hair down here, the bottom half, and I just tied it back in the back. And then I let the top half down and then I just cut. Like, so my hair, like my layers, like that are like normal human layers, like here's one and then here's one down here, right? So um, <laughs> I was like, no, I want my layers to start here. And um, I cut layers so short and I ended up fucking it up so bad that when you when I put my hair down, it was like short layer, long layer, and like no in between. Like it had all this like this like negative space. It was terrible. So I tried to make it work, tried to make it work all on my own, and I finally had to just like 
figure it the fuck out. I had to do something. So you know what I did? <laughs> I was like, I'm not cutting my hair. I'm not going to cut my hair to blend in with these fucking short layers. I'm not doing it. So I was like, I'm going to get extensions put in. So I looked on Craigslist for like extensions. I don't know why the fuck I was on Craigslist looking for extensions. Oh, like I Googled it and this Craigslist ad popped up for um, extensions Austin. And lo and behold, that's how I found my new hairdresser. And she was she would do like tape and insect in extensions. And she I went to go see her and she was amazing. And she put in tape and extensions and she totally fit my hair, fixed my hair with these tape and extensions because it like filled in this the space that was missing. And you know what, girl? She was like, we should do red extensions. And I was like, okay, fuck yeah, let's do red extensions. I had like brown hair at the time. And um we did red extensions and I fucking loved the color red. It was like this red, but super vibrant red. Oh my God, it was so cute. I loved it so much. And then since then, I've just been like slowly putting more and more red in until I just put like my whole, whole head of red in. So anyways, that was a long story, but there you go. Now let's try this one. This is the barbecue one with the crispy onions. Oh, yum. Okay. Oh, it's so good. It looks, I'm like, I haven't even tried it. I'm like, it's so good. Okay, ready, go. <laughs> oh my God, this one's my favorite. Mm. I love it. Barbecue sauce is the shit, dude. Mmm. Mm. I'm probably going to only get through like two questions <laughs> in this video. Okay. You get a heart. Amanda. Okay. Oh, by the way, a lot of people were like, you didn't answer my question. You didn't get to answer my question. I'm going to get to your freaking questions, you guys. No question left behind. No, ma'am. Rachel Scott asks, how do you feel about cheaters? Fuck them. That's how I feel about them. Okay. Yvette, oh my gosh, I love Yvette. She has the super bright, I'm trying to show you, you can't see. She has super, super bright hair. That's the kind of red hair I had my whole head once. <laughs> okay, since you started your mukbangs, I've noticed your weight loss. How have you done it? And has it been easy or hard? Okay, you get a heart and let's talk about it. Okay. Yeah, I've lost weight. Um, but besides my mukbangs, you guys, I mean, I don't eat that much. You know what I'm saying? Like I, these are like my cheat meals. I eat, I do two mukbangs a week. Sometimes I only even do one. And I eat pretty good the rest of the week. So how I lost weight was portion control, portion control, portion control and exercise of course i mean there's no there's no secret formula it's just like calories in versus calories out you know what i mean you take in less calories than you're burning to lose weight mm. and i think that's why i just love my mukbang so much because <laughs> i don't get to eat like this all the time you know what i mean I mean, I could, but dude, no way. I gained too much weight. Okay, so that's how that's 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 it really. Move more, eat less. Don't starve yourself. Oh my God! Like, let's not get it twisted. Veg Eating Show asks, "What would you do if you saw that homeless guy you used to hang out with?" LOL. <laughs> well, I'd ask him if he wanted to go hang out in a baseball field or a tunnel again. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's true though. Okay. Calamari Joe. I love you, Calamari Joe, by the way. What made you choose your hair color, which I absolutely love, by the way. Thank you. Um, I just told that story. So I didn't really chose it. It chose me. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, this is from Kat Seja. I love your comments and I'm probably mispronouncing your name. But she asks, since you've been vegan, is there any food you miss eating? Oh, I answered that in my last one, whipped cream and creme brulee. Congratulations on your subscribers, just the beginning. I thank you, you're the sweetest. Okay, how did you learn to cook so well? I don't know, but thank you. <laughs> I just learned to cook because I love cooking and I love, and that's why I think you shouldn't use recipes because you need to learn how flavors go meld, weld together. You just keep cooking, just keep cooking, just keep cooking. And the more you cook, the more you know. The more you know, shooting rainbow. Okay. <coughs> okay. Jaden Nil asks, what makes you roll your eyes when someone talks? Love you, darling. Kisses. Oh, love you. <sighs> okay, let's talk about this. What makes me roll my freaking eyes? I don't like when people say this phrase. It triggers me for some reason. When they say, Oh, well, I'm the type of person that such and such and such. I don't like when people say that. Like, I'm the type of person that doesn't like when people say I'm the type of person that da 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 da. I don't, oh, <clears throat> that just bothers me and rubs me the wrong way. I do not know. I'm just like, shut up. Cocky and arrogance really drives me nuts. So when somebody's talking about how they're the smartest, most best person in the room, I'm just like, dude, you're not. Go to bed. <laughs> Bunny Schmidt asks, if you had a full 24 hours without any work or obligations, a day to just do whatever you wanted, what would you do? Oh my gosh, so many things. I kind of answered this in another Q&A, but um, uh, like how I'm feeling right now is I would freaking spend the whole day cleaning my house because my house is a mess right now. It's kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> okay. Also, do you ever find there are things about you that people misunderstand? What are they? and why um a lot of times people think i'm extra and that i'm fake <laughs> like if i wanted to be fake this is how i'd act <laughs> like off the wall crazy i didn't i i don't i don't know i don't get that that people think like my my like um a attitude like my my personality is <coughs> fake but it's not, I'm just weird. <laughs> Get over it. Okay, all right, next, let's see. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? No, yes, not, okay. I, uh, knock on wood, cause I don't know if I really want this, but I want more um, paranormal experiences because I've only had one. And um, I was in the office at work um, with one of my friends. And we were talking and up in the ceiling, like here, let me see. We hear up like right above our heads and we're like, <laughs> what the fuck? Cause it was completely silent. There was like somebody knocking on a door. I mean, nobody's at the door. Like what the hell? And I'm like, oh my freaking God. And at the time there was this guy that worked there who was a medium and he can like connect with the spiritual world. And I went and I, dra I grabbed him by the arm and I dragged him in the office. He was working that day. And I go, dude, what's going on? And he goes, there's somebody in here. And he points directly where we heard, heard the knocking. I didn't tell him shit, dude. I didn't tell him a fucking thing. And he points directly and he goes, there's somebody in here. And he like shrugs his shoulder at shoulders and he leaves. I'm like, don't leave me in here. Oh my God, I'm going with you. But um, that's, that's the only thing that ever happened. I thought that was pretty fucking cool. But... A lot of people have seen weird shit that, at my job where I work, um, but I've never seen anything. And I've been there late at night all alone many times, never seen anything. Did I hear a little heart? I don't hear a little heart. Come on. There you go. Okay, you guys, I'm stuffed. I gotta go. So that's all the questions that I'm gonna answer today. And I hope you enjoyed this Irby's mukbang. And I'm gonna save this for later. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.